let's see how to create this beautiful rating dialog inside Flutter with all the animations, the star rating and the feedback option. Welcome back once again, I'm your host Afzal and in today's video, as I have said, we're going to create this beautiful rating dialog and this is going to be two parts video. So make sure to subscribe so that you get notified next time I upload the video and without any further ado, let's get started. So as a part of the setup, I'm going to remove all the comments and the default home page. Instead of that, I will add something called about us page. This is the page where actually our button will reside, which will trigger the rating dialog. You can add it anywhere you want. Okay, so let me just link it quickly and then we will start working on the about us page. And basically what I'm going to do is add everything inside a safe area so that it doesn't fall under a notch of iOS. And let's begin with a simple column widget. Now, before we go ahead, let's give it a run so that you can see real time what we are working on. And meanwhile, it's running. You can go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, a sub will be awesome. Now let's go ahead and start building the page. So inside column, it accepts multiple children and I'm not going to type everything. I'm just going to drop all the widgets. You can see it's fairly simple thing. The Flutter logo is an image and there's a text and there's a text button. You can stop the video anytime if you want to refer to the code, what I have written. And it's a simple widgets. And here I'm just adding spacer widgets so that I have a nice spacing between the text and the button. And to make everything center aligned, you can use alignment on container or you can use main, uh, sorry, cross axis alignment on column as well. Perfect. So with little bit of padding, our basic about us page is ready. Now on click of this button, we have to trigger the dialogue and what we have to work on is on pressed event. So let's go ahead and create a method. Maybe I will name it open rating dialogue and also because we are not working with any third party library or any uh, state management, we have to pass the context to open a dialog because Flutter show dialog method requires context. I know that this syntax is not super cool, but just bear with me. It just asks for one context and in a builder, it returns that context to you. So basically what we are going to do is return a dialog widget over here. Inside that dialog, you can add any widget you want, but don't forget to wrap it inside a dialog so that you get the nice theme of dialog. Okay, so as of now, I'm just going to say that the child of this dialog is a empty container just for a moment. And then we will be building another view which will replace this container. Okay, on pressed, I will call open rating dialog which have this context and if you're curious this context comes from the build method a comment would be much appreciated if you're still watching this video because so far we are just setting up the page and opening the dialog now we are going to work on the actual rating view so let's go ahead and create a file now you can be a little bit creative with organized folder and structure like that but i'm just going to keep it simple for the demo sake okay now this time instead of stateless i'll be creating stateful view stateful widget you can say those android and ios developer can understand me all right before we start working on this view let's go ahead and link this file from the existing page so instead of container we'll be calling rating view which comes from this file all right and now we'll be designing this beautiful dialog over here let's get going now it's very important that you visualize the design in a way that you are able to relate which widget shall be used. So looking at the current design, I can clearly see that there's a stack involved where this rating dialog is moving, a rating star is moving. So I have used a stack widget inside that I'm going to use a page view basically. So what I'll do whenever you're using page view, you need to give some specified height. Now to keep it responsive, I'm going to use a max method. Now basically what I'm trying to do here is give a minimum height, like any time it will be at least 300 pixel or more than that so that we have enough room to show all our widgets and animation. Now inside that I'm going to uh, add a page view and page view works with a controller. So let's go ahead and define a controller inside our state. And this is inbuilt controller, so you don't have to create something uh, something from scratch. So let's go ahead and define a page view, sorry, page controller. Okay, and this you can directly link to the page view. 
Now, basically what this controller do, using this controller, you can move to the next page. You can control a lot of behavior. And I'm just going to define some properties like uh, user should not be able to swipe so that the physics is never scrollable physics. Only with the coding, we'll be moving to the next page. And then two children, which means there will be like two pages which can swipe through. And for that, I'm going to build this two method, build thanks note and cause of the rating. Now, if you observe again, you will see there's nothing more than few text placed in a vertical direction so that I'm going to use a column widget and inside that I will be putting three text widget one after the other. Cool. Now you can also stylize it uh, by giving the text style so you can be a little bit creative over here again. So I'm just going to give it uh, like little bold and red color so that we can see it a little bit better and for cause of rating just give a container as of now at least we can see what we have built so far i hope that bus on demand from rta dubai they don't take any legal action against me because this is just an educational content and if they take any action guys do support me okay so what we can do here is add some roundness to the dialog and for that you can basically go ahead and tweak the theme of our application so i'm going to add the dialog theme now you can stop the video and see what i have done i have added some border radius to the entire dialog and as the theme it will uh, reflect anywhere we have used the dialog widget all right so now let's move ahead and add done button to this stack so basically uh, to add something in the stack it's preferred to use position widget because you want you may want to change the x and y like top and bottom coordinates so we'll see that in a moment so i'm going to add a container with a background color of the color of red which is the background of our button and as a child i'll be adding material button so meanwhile i add this material button let me tell you that there's gonna be a second part of this video so if you haven't subscribed yet make sure you do that all right so you can see that the done button is over here now actually we'll be defining the position of it so we want it stick to the bottom so we'll say from bottom zero pixel away from left zero pixel away and from right zero pixel away so what it does it like stretches the button because from left also you want zero right also you want zero so it tries to stretch the widget all right and now you have noticed something that the button is not clipping inside a dialog so what we can do we can give the same decoration to the container here as well and that's what I love inside Flutter because you can play around with the properties, you can tweak as you want. It gives a lot of flexibility to the developer to achieve the design that they want. On the other hand, sometimes it's difficult also to maintain a big hierarchy of widgets. So I always recommend to add comments to your widgets like this widget in particular does what so it's very easy when you are coming next time to open the specific widget you don't have to look around you don't have to search the thousand lines of code so always keep name of your widget like what functionality it does in the comment on top of that okay so similar way we created the done button i'm going to add skip button as well and this will be pretty simple we just want the skip text and i'll place it on the right side that's all we want perfect now i know that it's overlapping so we have to fix this uh, container thing inside that container we have the first page as a build thanks note so to this column i'll just say that i want size of minimum because by default column takes a maximum size and that should pretty much do the job so let's also add main axis alignment center which is by default there so i should have not written that anyways so we have the skip button in place now we want the actual thing the star rating and to your expectation flutter has a lot of inbuilt animation and the one i'm using here is animated position it's just like a position but whenever you change the position it's gonna animate in the given duration perfect now this is the place where we'll be adding those stars typically uh, five stars so in the children i'm going to generate five items so basically what it does, it iterates through the loop and it will generate five icon button. And to each of them, I'm going to give an icon of star. Makes sense. And let me also tell you that a lot of new developers, they get confused how you're writing list.generate something inside a widget. So basically a row demands multiple children and how you give it, like you specify the row there, you specify a method or list.generate, it doesn't matter you, at the end, it asks for multiple children's 
and there are many widgets that ask for only one child so you just have to pass that child either coming from a method or you write if and else condition or whatever you do you just provide the child make sense okay so we tried to do left and right zero to make it center aligned but it didn't work so we are going to tweak the row to make it center aligned the star thing right and it looks pretty fine now we have to animate the position initially it should be at the bottom and when you click when you give the rating it should animate to the top so we'll be tweaking the top position so let's go ahead and define a variable because anytime you want to do some animation you want to trigger some state change it should be coming from the variable instead of hard-coded value right so initially we will say start position of 200 because we know that our dialog cannot be less than 300 so i have come to conclusion that 200 is a perfect position so initially it will be somewhere here right and as soon as you click it we just want to update the position to somewhere on top like 20 pixel okay so we'll be working inside a on press method of a icon button it doesn't matter which icon so any icon you click we just have to change the start position to something like 20. let's see whether this animation works or not so i'm going to give it a run real quick and click somewhere and it animates there's a jank issue uh, let's dismiss the pop-up and see one more time whether the rating is working or not perfect here you have the animation and real quick i'm going to implement the star rating feature as well so basically to reflect how many stars user have given so by default let's say that rating is zero and whenever they click on icon button what we have to do is add one to the index so say for example they click on the third icon which means index two plus one so they have given the three rating three star rating right and that's all we have to write and to reflect that empty star on the UI, we'll just do a simple check that if index is less than the rating, then we will show this filled star, okay? And if it is not, then we will show the empty star. That's what it takes. Like if you have clicked on three, so all the index which are above three will be empty. The four and five will be empty. If you have clicked on one, so remaining will be empty like that. It's a simple logical statement. I hope that makes sense. So let's see what we have built so far. Uh, let me just give it a run and I'm going to click on four star. That works, five star and two star. Perfect, so let's see the whole experience one more time. I'm going to give it a star rating, it animates and everything works perfectly as expected. I hope you people enjoy this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. Write down your feedback in the comment section below. I'm eager to see your lovely feedbacks. Share with your other friends and colleagues. And if you want to check other informational video about Flutter, you can check these two videos right over here. I will see you guys in the next one.